Losing a family member to violence is, of course, heartbreaking. Getting justice can bring back all that pain. You know, I do have to sit up in court and relive this whole thing again. Right now, there are many families who are waiting for the people charged in their loved one's murder to actually go to trial. But after a year with the highest homicide rate Charlotte has seen since the 1990s, the wait for those trials is getting even longer. Channel 9's Mark Becker is live with what that does to families. Allison, what it does is it draws and drags out the grieving and it prolongs the uncertainty that can come with that wait that can be up to two years or perhaps even more. Now, this afternoon, Mecklenburg County's district attorney says he knows that very well because he has worked with many of those victims' families himself. And so he's making accelerating homicide trials in Mecklenburg County one of his top priorities. It's just like reliving a memory, <laughs> reliving everything over again from March 28th. Linda Springs is finding out that justice doesn't always come quickly or without some pain. It's already been 10 months since her daughter Kendall Crank was shot and killed when she drove into the middle of a shootout on North Tryon Street. Police have charged three young men with her murder, but after a year that saw 107 homicides, families of those victims may have to wait two years for their day in court. Can I prepare myself for two years ahead? I don't know that. I wish I could. We will be devoting more resources to the trial of homicides in Mecklenburg County. This afternoon, Mecklenburg County's District Attorney Spencer Merriweather made it clear finding justice in homicide cases is a top priority in 2020. There are, he told us, 75 defendants now waiting to go on trial for murder here. Prosecutors are planning to handle 19 of those cases this year, six more than last year. And the pain of those victims' families has everything to do with it. That the kind of grief that a family faces when they have lost a loved one is compounded as they wait for the person who has stolen a life to be brought to justice. Yes, um, I, I, I will wait. So Linda Springs is prepared to wait for justice, but she can't promise it'll be easy. I wish I could tell you that I'm going to be in perfect mind, perfect uh, 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 strength. Uh, I've gotten past this. Um, how, how can you get past um, death? How can you get past death? Well, Spencer Merriweather says one other thing that fast tracking some of these cases may do is it may send a message to defendants in the jail waiting for their cases to go to trial that prosecutors are serious about it, and as a result, prosecutors may actually get more of them to agree to plea deals. Allison? And maybe that close closure will happen even quicker, Mark. Thanks. After today's press conference, I sat down with the district attorney one on one here in the Channel 9 studios. We discussed a number of other critical issues, including violent suspects being released on bond and resources for survivors of domestic violence. Hear our conversation tonight on Eyewitness News at 7 o'clock on TV 64.